In this video, we will look at one of the concepts in ecology which deals with competition between two species for the same type of resources. So without further ado, let's quickly dive into it. In ecology, the competitive exclusion principle or sometimes referred to as Gauss law is a proposition. The word proposition here means a kind of a hypothesis which says that two species who are competing for the same limiting resource cannot coexist at constant population values. Let's try and understand what it means. It means when two species compete for gaining control over a limited amount of resources, which might be food, shelter, etc. The dominant species will take advantage over its weaker competitor. This will cause the weaker species to get excluded from its previous territory and its population is bound to drop. That is, its population will decrease over a period of time. For example, a competition between a fish and a crab, sheep and a goat, duck and a hen, cow and a horse, etc. The law is named after Soviet biologist Georgi Goss, although it was formulated first by American biologist Joseph Grinnell in his 1904 paper The Origin and Distribution of the Chestnut Back Chickadee. The bird on the right that you see is the bird called Chickadee. He devoted most of his later life to the research of antibiotics, which proved to be of great help for soldiers during World War II. Soviet biologist Georgio Goss had published his paper on the same topic in the year 1934. Let's take a look at Grinnell's observation from his paper The Origin and Distribution of the Chestnut Back Chickadee. The first picture here shows a smaller yellow species of a bird which has the whole tree for themselves and forages across the tree for bugs and insects. Forages means searching and hunting. In the second picture, a larger red species enters the scene and competes with the yellow bird for the food resource. Now, red being bigger starts to dominate in the middle section of the tree where the resources are more abundant. Now because of this, our small yellow bird adapts to a new niche restricting themselves to the top and bottom of the tree, thus avoiding the competition. Still, there are many exceptions to this law. Let's have a look at them. Competitive exclusion is said to be rarely observed in natural ecosystem. And in fact, many biological communities appear to violate Gauss law. The best known example is the so-called paradox of the plankton. All plankton species live on a very limited number of resources, primarily solar energy and minerals dissolved in the water. According to the competitive exclusion principle, only a small number of plankton species should be able to coexist on these resources. Nevertheless, large numbers of plankton species coexist within these small regions of open seas. The term plankton comes from the Greek derivative planktos, meaning wandering. These organisms spend either part or all of their life in a drifting state with no ability to swim against a current. Most have little or no ability to swim at all. Though some are larger, most planktonic creatures are microscopic and make up the bottom of the food chain in aquatic environments. Planktons can be divided into two categories. Phytoplankton which are those organisms that are plant-like, that is, they create their own food. And then there are zooplanktons, that are organisms that are animal-like. Interestingly enough, many of the planktonic species are neither plant nor animal, but are creatures that belong to kingdom Protista. That was about Gauss law, forming one of the important fundamental principles in ecology, still being studied today and debated. Thank you and see you in the next one.